Was I supposed to clap there? You did. I, saw I did it. clap. I, I did. I I did clap. See, I tell you, man. I do I, clap. I, I, and I've you got visu me too. visual. Evidence. You have visual. You have visual that I do clap, and I Discord just, do, just doesn't it, doesn't send it through. Sorry, my fucking bad. Yeah. So fuck you. Yeah. Kiss my ass, Terry. What's up? Yeah. Man? How you doing? What's up, man? I'm doing good. How's everybody's day? Welcome That's back fantastic. to. Uh, Right on, Terry. Terry episode <laughs> yeah, right. seven. I don't know. What, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I think we'll call it seven. I don't but think it's seven. I think it's it uh, number. It is number seven. It's a crack so, open one. You got yep, one. Hold on. All right, three, two, one, baby. Yeah. Ooh, we Opened both got it. lightly carbonated stuff. What are you, what are you sipping it, on? I'm sipping on a uh, a Red Bull. Just a regular Red. All right. Hell yeah. I, I I've been I've been on these for a minute now. It's the Aussie lemonades from Monster. Yeah, the reason why I don't drink those is probably because it has a lot of fucking sugar in it. They're good, man. They're really yeah, good. but look at the sugar content in it. Tell me how many. What's the percentage of your daily income right there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what it I thought. It is uh, 92%. Also, That's I want to point out, I feel like this can used to not be a serving size. This used to be like two servings per can. What's to say? What's the serving size? It's, it's one can top? now. Oh. But like, so I, I, I distinctly a... remember as as a kid, like the serving size being two like two per can. Because oh, like then... I don't, eight ounces was the serving size. Oh, then it's... it can be two servings then. Yeah. That makes, it, that makes a little it, bit more on sense. On the can itself, it says the serving size is one can. Does the serving size go up? Do they just change that? Or are they just trying to report what it all is and be less, you know, bad uh, cons as a company? Conspicuous? I think it is. It's because of, uh, I, I think it's probably more... Misleading marketing? Yeah, probably. Hmm, interesting. More or less likely uh, misleading marketing. Fair. Like Fair. everything else in life is a lot of misleading market. Of course. Yeah. All that shit. Yeah. So uh, what I was going to say before we started recording. Um, yeah, so... Drew was showing me this new keyboard he wants to buy, and it's weird looking. It's an ergonomic keyboard. It's, Damn, that's expensive. It is very expensive. Holy shit. I just scrolled down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's. You tell those... me you would get the dark one, though, right? Oh, 100%. I don't want to get it, it dirty. Uh, it is $365, by the way. This is the Moonlander Mark One by ZSA. I don't know. I think it's That's just called. super weird, though. Like it's, it's it. so. It's a keyboard. It's, it's a, a full, split keyboard. It's that's a ergonomic. split keyboard, but it's ergonomical. Yes. And they're in stock too. It looks like two like. Actually, kind of looks like a. Does a Nintendo sixty, a Nintendo sixty four like. <laughs> uh, controller. Just split right down the middle. Yeah. That's fair. If it was split down the middle, like if you split a Nintendo sixty four controller in half and made put like a bunch of keys and shit on it, yeah, yeah, probably. Wait, so what else do you get? What the hell's what's what's for twenty bucks more? What'd you get? Twenty bucks more. What do you mean twenty bucks more? A hundred and ten bucks more. You get the platform or twelve thing? Bucks, a platform thing. So what that does, this is a video that when you said, oh, you look serious, that, that's what I was Oh, watching. God, it's so loud on my ears. Yeah. The idea is that the video or the, the platform, which is $112, rotates the keyboards to a more natural uh, angular, you know, angle. Instead oh, of them being like... flat on your desk, they uh, make it like a mountain. Like it, they meet up to a point in the middle. Oh, my God. And it comes with a case. It comes with a traveling case. Yeah. You can get a traveling case, Drew. I could. I could. Oh, shit. Why don't you just get a half moon? A what? A half moon. Um, I don't know. I'm looking at what they got here. I'm also looking at that. And that's pretty much what I would would using be using it for. And that's just to put my, my main keyboard just off fucking somewhere else. How yeah, much is this? I... I just have like a normal, you know. Regular, yeah, normal regular keyboard, crazy. I just have a Logitech uh, uh, G9915 TKO with tactical uh, keys. Mm. That's what I got. I mean, it works just fine. Unlike, I don't know. I just don't know. 
I don't know how I feel about the splits. I like it. Um, it's surprisingly fun to type with. It's a very mild and minor adjustment too. I Is it though? Uh, I mean, there are some some pros and cons, but I'm not a fast typer to begin with, so who cares? I'm not losing a lot. But you're looking. Why don't you just get like instead of like getting this? Why don't you just get one of the, like a uh, like a gaming pad or something? I don't know. I like nice stuff. What can I say? I understand that, but you might like if you don't type that much anyways when you play. You might as well just get like a gaming pad. That would make more sense and more cost effective than buying a split half keyboard for almost four hundred dollars. I don't know, man. That might that might you might not like. I've used it before. Yeah? You've also yeah. used the TV before, too. And look where you are now. <laughs> Since you spent, what, your entire, uh, somewhat of your morning rearranging your uh, office. It's peaceful. From from your from your TV to your Back to my Odyssey. Odyssey G9 monitor, which, I, you know, it's still, like, a very good monitor. And I'm very happy with it. Uh, one thing I do want to try out though is there's a picture by picture mode that allows you to have like two monitors of the same thing. Uh, so I want to see if I can like plug in a, an extra HDMI cable into the mm -hmm. monitor and then treat that like as two separate inputs. Okay. I wonder if that would be better. Um, I was thinking about this the other day actually when uh, if you know when you come over as your guest monitor. I just yeah. get like a splitter, and then I have the same, you know, fat fucking monitor, but as two separate inputs. So your computer has an easier time, like just processing to one, and then processing to the other as like Discord mm. or something. Well, maybe if I can, uh, you know, take some of your uh, GPU and yeah. your graphics onto my laptop. Mm -hmm, yeah. Like you give, you know, give it a little like, uh, you know, you know five a little, finger little tip, a little something off the top. So yeah, yeah, a little like, you know, power, a little extra power. You gotta like ram that shit in there, you know, because I was playing at like sixty frames, which was terrible, on a wide screen. Super, super wide, yeah. An ultra wide screen. Super. Ultra even though, even though my laptop is, Your laptop I think it has fine, but this is also oh, yeah. a big ass monitor. Yeah, but your your monitor is like four, what is it four K? No, it's uh, two 1440p monitors next to each other. That's the exact resolution. Damn. Yeah. That's tough, dude. I don't know. I, is it I really? Don't, I, is it, it's a very first world problem. Yeah, I know. I know it's a first world problem. <clears throat> or, you know, you, you, you have a TV that you were playing on. Every time he turns it on, it, you know, it flickers. And then he has to, like, he's like, I'm sick and tired of the flicker. And now he has an extra TV. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. You I know can... what you should... What? Huh? Sell it? No, you could, like, uh, put it in your room, that room that you're in somewhere. Where? In the corner so, to the your, your right. Yeah. So, Over you know, here is right, where the desk is. Why am right. I there? That's where my computer is. Yeah, you can put it right there and watch shows or something. That's what I have right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. I can't put it on that. Oh, uh, I was going to say put it in the corner, and then you can watch TV or something yeah, while you already, do it. Yeah, I already do that on my other monitor. That's the thing. Like, I have this, this stacked monitor setup, and I always have something, like, Discord goes on the right third, and then Chrome goes on the left two-thirds. Mm. Yeah, like, I, I, it's already a solution. You already have a solution to your solution. But your, yeah. your non-solution was is that you... Have a TV and you don't know what to do with it. You know what you could do? Is just put it in your bathroom while you're taking a shit or something. I don't. I don't. I don't think that many shits though. I'm just even browsing my phone. Yeah, I just took a shit. I don't know why every time that like, like men talk or something like that, we always talk about our shits or something. Like, why is that? Why do we talk about that? Is it just natural? Or is it just we... a funny thing to talk about? Yeah. Let me look that up. Why do we? Well, you're gonna look up shit. why men talk about shit. This seems like a really random thing to like look up, but it's okay. But no, I just took a shit, and my shits were like little like goat poos, like little nuggets. 
You ever seen goat poop before? Yeah, yeah, like I've seen mostly from deer. Yeah, deer, it's like little deer take the little jelly bean shits. Yeah, it's like a little goat poo. And I'm like just sitting there. It's hard. It's not hard, but it's like somewhat hard, and it's just come plunking in the toilet. That was my shits this morning. Mm. How about you? How was your shit? Uh, I don't remember if I took a shit this morning. Yeah. The um the the number one response on this website on girlsaskguys.com of why do guys talk about poop so much? Uh, the number one response is in general we are more open because uh, more open about it because society judges us less for talking about it. Double standards are everywhere. So what it's saying is that because we can, we do. Ah. Uh, maybe that's why I talk about it way too much than I should too. But whatever. <laughs> Nonsense. I mean, it's 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 fun for me. I don't give a shit. It's fun talking about like it was like that same conversation that we were having last night while we were raiding with uh, not raiding, but we were talking with uh, one of our clan members. I'm not gonna blast his name. Yep. Um, but like it's okay to be you know a little gay, you know. Yeah. Like you know a little slap ass. If like you, if you don't have if you don't have, you don't have like have a any... really close friend that is uh like your like a guy friend that's not close like a, a close guy friend and you don't do gay shit towards him, then you're just gay. Right? Some people That's think how that. I got it. That's how that's, I got out of that. That's what the homophobes think. That's what the homophobes think? Yeah. Are you homophobic? No. Well, I, I know what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 yeah, the things yeah. that you've told me. <laughs> but I've, I'm just saying as in... Uh, I mean, it's all right, right? To touch people. I mean, men, your close friends, as another man talking to another man. You gotta, you gotta phrase that word that that a lot better. What do you mean? It's okay, it's okay to touch it. people. That's, I don't know about that. Well, I can re. I, I said I retracted. I said to uh, your other friends, like you could touch your friends, right? That's fair. That's fair. Like you give them a little slap on the ass. Uh, maybe a little like uh, a smoochie on the, the cheek, you know? Smoochie on the coochie. I wouldn't say the coochie. They don't have mm. coochies. They have dicks. Yeah. You're going to give them a little dick? You're going to give them a little kiss on the uh, tip of their dick? I mean... No? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'll tell you like, that. I, I can't can't confirm or deny if that's, it's ever happened one or the other, but... But it's not like... It's like... Jeez. In reality, most men have seen, like, their friends' dicks. I've seen not more e dicks than I have <laughs> women naked by tenfold. Easily, like by a, a wide. You're talking about in real life, mark. right? Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Like, in in term, yeah, I, the the number of guys I've seen naked is significantly higher than the number of girls I've seen naked. That's intense, man. It's really. I mean, I guess in a way, if you think about it, if you go to like in like high school, you have to like shower after PE or whatever. So you, you do keep see saying a lot of naked that, dudes. dude. That never fucking happened to me. Literally, nobody what? showered after PE in my school ever. In high school? Yeah, never saw a single person ever. The only time Damn. I ever saw anyone in the shower was the wrestling team, and they they were <laughs> the wrestling team went fucking hard. Honestly, that's like the sport I didn't understand how how people did it because all they did was fucking run all goddamn day. And they would run throughout all the entire school and up and down all the stairs. And then, you know, just fucking grab ass all the time. And, yeah, that was like the hardcore sport that had a lot of gay tendencies. I think uh, most sports have gay, uh, yeah. you know, no, I get it. tendencies in it. Because, I mean, uh, you know, you're if you play baseball, you're, you're doing a lot of, like, slap ass. You're saying good game and shit. That's where it comes from, man. And then football, same thing. Wrestling, you just, you know, it's two sweaty men, you know, try to pin super, the other one. It's super tight clothing, minimal. Yep. Like, like uh, the least amount of clothing possible. Singlets are barely constitutional as clothing. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, you got that, and then you have probably, you got, I guess, swimming. You can put swimming in there, too. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a weird it's a weird world we live in. Sports man, fucking me. I'm, a, I'm not a sports man at all, man. I don't know anything about sports. I I don't know a lot about sports. If I'm being honest, do you know any sports? Well, um, 
like I did baseball you, would, decently well. I played a lot of baseball. I played baseball for like six years actually. What what position did you play? Uh, third base and left field. I was like like the third, third base line. Third base and left field. Yep. Were you a lefty or a righty? What the fuck kind of question is that? You know I'm right handed. Well, well, some people are right-handed, but they bat left-handed. It's or they're switch hitters. Yeah, but I was in, like, elementary school. I didn't care about that. It was all oh, like, so this yeah. is, like, back before, like... It's like Little League. It's not high school or anything like that. Little League? Yeah. It's like Peewees. Were you playing T-ball, too? Was, I did play T-ball for one year. I skipped coach pitch, but then I went into, like, the kid pitch. And, Who's that? Uh, I was all, I played all the way up until like there was no public leagues available, and then I had to go public to high leagues. schools. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just play like rec te- like rec ones? I don't know. I didn't know what that was. Uh, after that, I started playing basketball in junior high. I was on the JV basketball team in junior oh, high. Oh hell like yeah, bro! Years. Center? No, I was a post. What do you think? Power forward? I was a post dude. I was the guy who used to you know stayed in the key. I'm the slow. Yeah, guy. you were the center. You were the tall. Were you the tallest? No, actually, there was a couple people who were as tall as me, if not a little taller. I didn't hit my growth spurt till the end of eighth grade. So if you were in the key, you're either like a power forward or a center. Which you stayed towards the back of where the line is. Yeah, you, I hung, I hung out. You by can't the post. shoot. Yeah, and then you did layups. I, dude, in my entire two years I played, I think I scored six points. <laughs> Like I, I was the utility player. I did not score points. Wait, so you were on the? Did you start on the bench, or where did you start? Uh, as an eighth grader, I started. So at eighth grade, you started. In the, but the during team, in, yes. on the JV team, in ninth grade, you were seventh on the bench grade. the entire time. Seventh grade. Seventh grade, you were on the bench. Seventh and eighth grade, yeah. You were on the bench. In no, I only played seventh grade. I did not play a lot. I got in every so often, and we they had this thing where they would just rotate everyone out at some point. Eighth grade, uh, I would start a couple times here and there. Mm. Yeah, I never, I never got to play uh, any like uh, high school, school sports? High, like middle or like junior high or high school sports. So I was a bad student. Wait, your grades are bad? Yeah, my grades were bad. I couldn't do it. The only year I probably could have done it, or if, I guess if I thought about it, if I did, um, like did play a sport, I guess it would change the way that I did school. Because then I would have to be like, oh shit, I have to keep my grades up. Because if I don't, I'm going can't to, live. I can't play then, you know, the, either the next game or I can't play at all. So I guess that would have changed it. I guess I should have done it, but I never did it. I was just an average student. What was your graduating GPA? I got two. Just two? Yeah, just a two. I was an average student, like I said. I had a 2.98 GPA. 2.9? 8. 9.8. Oh, smarty pants over here. Not quite a (laughs) 3.0. Look at you, smarty pants. I have a lot of really smart friends, I'm not going to lie. Like, the valedictorian was this girl that was in, like, adjacent to my friend group. Oh, okay. Friend, friends in my friend group were friends with her. Um, uh, and, like, everyone, you know, band kids, they fucking are nerds, you know? There's not a lot of dumb band kids. Yeah, they're but fucking nerds. But there's also nerds. not yeah, a lot of... they're fucking each other. Yeah. Uh, there is not big, a lot of... Uh, a big sex cult, everybody. Yeah, much. There's band not a band is of... just a big sex cult. You just fuck each other. Yeah, I'm done. This is a bunch of fucking horn dogs. Band trips are just code for find a room to fuck. Yeah. That's pretty much it, man. <laughs> but, uh, hey, whatever. Mom, can I go to this? Can I go on this band trip? Yeah. Sweet. Those are the back of condoms. Yeah. Just, and then, like, no, like, the next day, the next morning, there's just a, uh, you know, and, and his, uh, he's packing or whatever like that, or she, he or she is packing. And then all of a sudden, the parent just, there's just, like, a random, like, box of condoms in there because they know. Dude, speaking of condoms and band, um, this reminds me of uh, one of my one of my section leaders when I did band. It was during my indoor year, and uh, this is the first time I was with this group. But we were in Ohio because that's where championships are, and um, we were at staying at some hotel. And 
the my section leader was not staying in the room with us it was like five of us in like a two-bedroom room we all shared the beds okay he would he would go fuck off to go have sex with his girlfriend so (laughs) i remember like after finals night uh we were all just hanging out in the room you know rolling on molly and uh molly molly yes is it okay wait hold on is it is it like drugs and sex and alcohol so drugs sex alcohol there no the none of these things actually mixed at any point oh really surprisingly yes um so we uh yeah we were all hanging out and like one of one of my other friends also rolled a hundred joints and put them in like a pickle jar and god that must have taken a while it was him and like another guy and they like set up like a system like you know they had rollers and they didn't didn't, oh okay like tobacco rollers. rollers or whatever yeah okay so he had 100 joints, so like all the staff members would keep stopping by our room to buy, you know, buy joints from my, my friend. <laughs> what? Yeah. Dude. Dude, it's okay. Hold on here. It is not just a sex. It's not like a, it's not, it's a sex. It's a, it's a group sex get together. Mm-hmm. Then it's a, yo, I could sell a bunch of weed, like a drug dealer get together. And then you for, just sell it to, and then you for, just sell it to like your staff members. For context, uh, the the staff member that I had one year, I had audition for the group, and then I showed up for rehearsal for the first time ever, like literally the first rehearsal we had, and then yeah. we broke off from the larger group into the smaller groups, like our subsections, i.e., just the baseline, yeah. and uh, we were you know, playing our warm ups, and then we stopped for a second just to chit chat. And my friend asked, like, so what do you do? And he's like, well, to be honest, I sell drugs. And we're like, whoa, <laughs> what? And he's like, yep, and you guys knowing it's going to bring me in business. So it's a, it's a smart Yo, that's that's smart, man. He's smart. He, that's, he's, he's a very smart guy. That's, um, that's, is he Jewish? We, no. Uh, oh. We actually ended up buying drugs from him at some point. So he's, his hypothesis was correct. I mean, that's true because he's, you know, like if you bought from him and someone walks up to him and he's like, hey, do you know anybody that can sell me some weed? And you just go, yeah, go get to... Not just X- weed. Okay, anything in you fact, want. everything but weed. Oh, everything but weed. He was an everything but weed kind of guy? Yeah, those kind of drugs. Oh, those kind of drugs. Yes. Damn. Yes. Well, go back to the story of uh, so, the... So, we're all hanging out. Uh, We're just rolling on Molly, having a good time. Uh, just chit chatting and chilling, and then uh, our section leader, who, who's just, like I said, just this guy, like horn dog dude, um, comes into the room because he has like a you know room key, and he like barges in, walks up to like the TV, and for some <laughs> reason, like uh, you know how there's like a table that it's sitting on in most hotels, uh, like a side table to the TV or something, like yeah, a, like, like like a dresser. An like you know it's got drawers and something it's just whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a flat yeah. surface that he could put stuff on uh yeah. we have this pile of condoms because we're like oh we're gonna pull bitches while we're here and obviously no one did is it just out in the open yes that's ballsy our our room is definitely the party room uh, uh... so he comes in and then no one's he... okay keep going i was gonna say like no one's gonna really like like just uh, was there like a fuck area you know there's a couple things that happen, but they're okay. Okay, okay. We'll, okay. we'll get just, there. We'll get, we'll get there. there. Okay, we'll get there. I like just, these stories. Keep going. Just, just ask me about the snare line afterward. When, when the I, snare we'll line, to, snare line. Snare got line. It. Yeah. So, all okay. I'm seeing is your cat on there, yeah, just right. rolling around on yeah. that chair and about yeah. to fall off. No, he, he's nowhere near. Um. So <laughs> he comes in. He looks at us, and uh, he goes in, up to the pile of condoms, grabs one, he, and then. Uh, he looks at us and looks down at the singular condom. He's like, it's not enough. And he fucking grabs a handful <laughs> and a bottle of water. And he's like, I'll see you guys later. And he just walks off. <laughs> like, he very much knew that he was just going to get fucking puss all night that night. And he was ready for it. Damn. And, uh, yeah. So, and like, it might have been a joke, but I full heartedly believe that he used all those condoms and he had sex that much. Damn. That seems like a. I mean, good for that guy. But that seems like a, how many condoms do you think he grabbed? Mm, six. There's oh god, that's a that's a long night. 
That's why I got the bottle of water, too. Gotta stay hydrated. <laughs> stay, key for us here, guys. We're having sex. Stay hydrated. Maybe loosen up a little bit. Maybe do some uh, stretches. Do some stretches, man. Yeah, do some stretches. Do some kegels. Men can do kegels, too. It's all good. Yeah. But, you know, just stretch before you just, you know, let it rip into the, you know, sex machine. Yeah. So to answer your question, there was not like an orgy room or anything like that. Aw. That's <laughs> like, what I was hoping for. I mean, our room was where people came by to, A, buy, buy weed because it was easy to get over there. So we had a lot of weed in the room. Um, my I was 21. My section leader was 21. My friend... The one who brought the weed was 22. It's so like plenty of alcohol. Like all of us could drink. It was no problem. There. Right, we were right. All on the older side. So that's what we did was we just drank. And um, my friend ended up getting like <clears throat> incredibly sloppy drunk. Like to the point where <laughs> the next morning we had to wake up to like go to the airport to fly home. And he just he wasn't waking up. And I, I, I knew he was fine. I knew he just drank a lot. So I ended up having to like pack up his shit and literally just like carry him to like the vans to get us to the airport because Damn. he just he was not moving. That's a trooper right there. Yeah. Damn, that's that's uh did he get home? Yeah, he got home. Did he wake that, up at did he wake up at any moment in the time to like Uh it was like a forty minute the... drive to the airport, so he ended up like waking up on the, the drive to the airport. Uh, that's and, not bad. Um, I just remember the the leader, like the guy who like ran the group. He looked at Brad and he's like, "Man, I uh, I really hope that seeing this and understanding what's going on is kind of an eye opener for you. And at some point, you kind of turn your life around." And I remember standing there listening to this guy who both of us at the time respected a lot, and um, him just telling my friend to. Uh, you already said like, his name, by the way. <laughs> I did. You did. You said his name? his name was Brad. That is Brad. Damn! Yeah. <laughs> Wait, why did I say that? <laughs> you like said it like, <laughs> like oh, right weird. when you. <laughs> <laughs> I I thought right when be... you said that I was just like, well, they know the name now. Uh, either way, uh, um, either way, see... it's just a name. No one really. Like, here's the thing: is like when you say like people's names on here, it's only if they listen to it they know who you're talking about. Brad will listen to it. Oh, does he? He would. He he's a he's a homie like that. But oh. I, I just want to point out, like, I remember talking to Brad after that, and I I told him like, yeah, Mike came up to you and you know said this thing, and he was really really like congratulated you on the season, but he hoped that you got your shit together because he was concerned about you. And uh, Brad was like, I didn't I didn't know that, and n- never had any recollection of the conversation. And uh, after that, he most definitely like started to get his shit together. Hasn't really been drinking a lot. Um, he like smokes weed in here and there, but that's just what he does. He's get involved yeah. in like local politics, goes to community college, uh, you know, grows plants, not not weed, just like trees and stuff, like little saplings to donate to like uh, nature initiatives. He very much has turned his life around. And yeah, it sounds much- like he. It sounds like he turned his life around. Yeah, he he. Uh, he that's he, good. See, people, you can still do drugs and drink alcohol and turn your life around. Just takes you know some time. It does. It does. But now I really want to know about your uh, your <laughs> snare dude. So that one your snare line or that, one dude from the snare line. I mean, they, it, yeah. So there, there's a multiple multitude stories. Uh, I I told you the story about my friend who could tie his penis in a knot, right? You told me that you had a friend that can tie his penis in a knot. Yeah. Now I'm intrigued because there's more to the story. So, yeah. Go ahead and tell it because I'm really interested. No, don't show me it. No, no, I'm not. I'm not showing you the cat. Oh, thank me. God! Like I the, thought you were gonna have like you camera. have like a no like a picture um, of his penis in a knot. No, so that would have been it, really weird. What it was is that this friend was like a oh God. He he's very weird and very. He just does a bunch of weird shit. Like that song I I, I played for you, Ram Ranch. It's like a type of song that you'd come from him. Yeah. So like for, for like some context, uh, he's the one who showed me that song. Uh, he also on the snare drums, there's like a little bag to hold your sticks. And in that bag, he, he kept a butt plug all summer. Um, what? other things is he would, uh, like pinch his nipples a lot. That was the thing he did. 
What else did he do? <laughs> um, it's so random. This is so random that he had a butt plug in his stick holder. Yeah. And then, and then he pinched his nipples. What else did he do? Uh, That's just weird to me. I mean, it more was, to them. It was. More but to th- people pinching nipples and shit. That's fine. It was his own nipples. Like he would, he would play with them and make them talk. That's what he would do. What? Yeah. Is, it, is this know, person do doing like okay in life? Thing? Yeah, he's doing fine now. He's he's plenty plenty smart. But you know, he tells me about like Ram Ranch and like one time, um, it was the middle of the summer and we were at band camp, and uh, he was like, "Hey guys, we're gonna be the hottest staff in all of all the Northwest." So he put us in his car, turned the heat up to maximum when it was already a hundred degrees outside. And then we drove to go get like Chipotle. Wait, so he did the reverse, like he did a. a so there's a cold out, like when. So when. No, no, it was, we, it was most definitely hot out. No, 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 no. So you, there's there's a cold out where you roll down, like when it's like 32 degrees outside, mm-hmm. you roll down all the windows, and then whoever rolls up the window first is a bitch. So that's called a cold out. You just all the windows are open, yeah, and stuff like that. Even your sunroof, and then there's uh, a heat in, which is like the same concept. But when it's hot outside, you blast the heat. So he, that's what he did to you guys, essentially. Yeah. It's just it's already a hundred some degrees outside. Blast the heat inside, so you guys are dying. Yep. The hottest staff not, in, in all of the land. Damn, dude. I don't know why he did that. That's some it, fucked up it, shit. It was. I mean, it was funny. Like uh, I got I remember getting out of the car, and I was like, "Damn, it's this feels great." <laughs> So maybe maybe there's more to it, but he was an interesting guy. Nonetheless, he just when we marched together, I remember seeing him make this knot um, on the bus one time, like after. A Wait, show. what? Yeah, he's on a bus. Yeah, we take charter buses to and from. So he's on a charter bus, and then on this bus, he just whipped out his dick. Not as uncommon as you think it is. Oh God, band's interesting. Yes. There's an interesting world that I don't know, but I kind of want to make a documentary about it now. I mean, The Rock tried to do it. It didn't pan out. The Rock? Yeah. What do you mean, The Rock? Uh, he made a show about drum corps one time, and he was it, the show was like all focused on the drama aspect and like the people as opposed to the activity. So it, I don't know, fell flat. No, I want to. I want to do the activity part. I want to see what they do outside. That's fair. Like, what is so, uh, you know. John 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 Moran doing right now, and then I go in and I see what John Moran's doing with his homies. You know, there's Bruce and Bruce and Wayne or something like that, and just like just token up or something. Yeah. And then so, on the other uh, side of the room, they're like banging chicks. You know, I don't know. Yeah. And then there's Susie, and then there's Alice or something like that. Yeah, that's pretty weird, but so, funny at the same time. So. Moving on, <laughs> going back to the snare line. Uh, oh, this, this guy. All of age, by the way. All of age. No. Shh. <laughs> That's the fucked up part. That's my where, story. Is all of age. That is where the activity does cross a lot of uh, a lot of boundaries. Is that there are some people who are not of age, and that does become the problem. But, but you, can, you can bring that to light. Other people have already done that. I'm not doing the Lord's work there. Oh, sorry. What are you looking over there? The cats. Um, and there's some ghosts. The cats. So, this guy, Mister Mister Penis Knot. That's a good name, Penis Knot. He, he's got a name, but I, I'm like, again, I'm like, it's like okay. Or you blast one of them, you might slip another one. <laughs> that's why I'm You'll name about slip. It. You got a name I'm, slip. That's why I'm thinking about it. Um, so P- Penis Knot, he uh, he was on the snare line this year, and he just did a lot of weird, quirky things. And uh, when we were at this hotel. There were eight people in the snare line, and only four people could go per room. So okay. they split up the snare line, and uh, all eight of them only used one of the bathrooms to pee and, like, flush. And the other bathroom, <laughs> they took the, everybody Everybody would shit in one toilet and then not flush it. What? Yeah, it was called a... What It was called a Mount Pusuvius. Oh my god, dude! There's no, no, no. Yeah, you're telling me they used that a uh, one toilet to pee and shit in, For and like they a week. used it as they used it as a fucking porta potty. Yep. 
<laughs> oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> that is so disgusting, dude. I mean, Even, you're not I, wrong. <laughs> I I think it's hilarious, but that is really disgusting. That is oh oh my god. I feel bad for whoever had to clean it up. I don't remember if they ever flushed it or like what happened. What? But- but yeah, like I'm pretty sure they just left it. They all would just sh- like all eight of them shit in this fucking toilet, and then uh, at the end of the week we left Sunday morning. Dude, I am at I'm at, I have I'm speechless right now. That's fucked up, dude. I feel so bad for that lady, that who or man that had to clean that shit up. That is that is terrible. Were you part of this? No, I never. I never shit in Mount Pusuvius. But you wanted to. I no, I had my own things going on. Were you? Did you have another one called like fucking K two? No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we we didn't. Uh, we just had. We were we were actually practicing and uh, you know doing the. the oh, you things. were doing practical things. Yeah. While we these were... motherfuckers are taking shits in Mount Pusuvius or whatever and leaving yeah. it for a fucking maid to clean it up. Yeah, we just, you know, walked around and, like... Yeah, that bathroom must have smelled so bad. Oh, <laughs> that is so bad. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm disgusted right now. Fuck your friends. Penis I've not... Been... You're a piece of shit. No, no. Just Pe- let you know. Penis not's a good guy. Um, do you, you, huh? know that, you know that game I have... Penis not's a good guy. What are you talking about? You know that game I have on Steam? Uh, the, the, did I ever show you this one? Hold on. No, you haven't. I'm gonna. But I'm, I'm about gonna... to find out. So it is this one. Oh. Uh. I think I know what it says, but yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. So he bought me this. It was oh, a. Oh shit. Pen- penis not bought me this game. For as a that... Christmas gift. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> Dude, what are what's wrong with people, man? He's he's a great guy. I mean, very smart. Uh, he's fun to talk to. Talk to him and I are really good friends. We haven't talked to we have I haven't talked to him a lot since I moved. Is he just is he just weird? Yes, like super weird. Yes, but he's really good at what he does, and he's like smart. There's a lot of people that are really weird and really smart, but do really weird shit. Correct. I think he's on the cusp of he does really weird shit. He does really weird shit. There's no cusp. He's well past that line. Dude, that's insane. I, I'm still I'm still trying to figure out why somehow he persuaded seven other men to shit in a toilet. Yeah. And not flush it. And? That's that's where my mind is at. You're telling right me now. if someone proposed that as an option, you wouldn't you wouldn't try it? No. Hmm. Where's your sense of adventure? My sense of adventure is I don't want to go to a bathroom that smells like shit. Did they Maybe. at least have the fan on the entire time? I don't know. Because I would. Any any other fucked up stories you got to tell me? Because I'm down to hear them. All these band camp stories, I'm all down to hear it. God. That's that that's f- my no that that's the, the, the one storyline for the episode. Yeah, we got That's your on. one storyline. You gave me two. I want at least three. Storyline. It's 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 the whole you know, the whole shebang wing doodle. It's all all tied in together. Is there any more? Yeah, yeah. Plenty. Any 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 other like funny stories or occurrences there's, that I mean, happened while like, you were there? There's some funny stories, there's some fucked up stories. Like I've seen some shit that like you know I don't agree with. Um, so did I ever tell you about Rookie Talent Night? Rookie. Rookie Talent Night. Rookie Talent Night, where like I'm 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 guessing it's all the rookies that are on there have to do a talent show or whatever. It's kind of like hazing. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. It's exactly, exactly hazing. It's like hazing. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not. It, yeah. Um, so that was, uh, something we did my senior, not senior year, but like my last year, my age out. Um, I just remember rookie talent night was the longest bus ride of the year from like New York to Pennsylvania or something. But is this is, is this in college? I mean, I was, it was, I was college aged. I was 22 at the time. 
21. Okay. okay. But so there, you... there were a bunch of other people uh, on the bus, and it was percussion bus and guard bus and horn, uh, winds bus, and we um, we you know, had our had our fun, and the uh, uh, like our our. Oh come sorry. on, man! Let sorry, it go! Let, let it go! My, He's very mic... emotional, guys. <sighs> He's very emotional about this. To be honest, at the time, I took a pretty strong stance against it, and I was like not into it at all. And I just did something really stupid just to do it and to be done with it. But everyone else did like a, a, a variety of things. Um, one, there was two people. They did a tag team where they got naked at the front oh. of the bus, and then they had to get to the back <laughs> and then back to the front. Uh, in one direction they climbed under the seats, the other direction they climbed over the seats, naked. Oh God! And that's a talent show. Yeah, I mean there was there was a lot of like criteria. Wait, is the talent show is the talent show on the bus? Yes, and the the and the vets of the group who have been there for a while were the the judges. Oh God! Yeah, another one was. Uh, Scruffy. You don't have to. T- you what? don't have to tell me like all the bad things or what you did. I just want to know what the other kids did. I know. I, I my my thing was I just like licked my own nipple. That was my my whole. <laughs> <talent>. <laughs> I did a salute and then I licked my own nipples. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty talented, bud. Could you lick your <laughs> that's nipples? That's really funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see. Two other guys. They did this rap battle naked. Uh, they were the weird, weird. Why is everything? Things. Why is everything? <laughs> the category naked? was sex appeal. Oh God! <laughs> or like something sex. I don't know. Uh, then this other group of people, these two guys. Um, they one guy went to the front of the bus. One guy went to the back of the bus. They started watching porn so they could get you know get hard. And then they they jousted each other up and oh. down the bus in the you know. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I can only imagine on these rides being being the driver and we, seeing this. Sh- we had the the it covered up. <laughs> oh, driver, really? This particular night, the driver did not see what was going on. There might have oh. been some other shit they might have seen, but like this particular night, we blocked it off. Wait, so there's like a little curtain. Yes. That's like he can like. Yes. Oh, oh, dude. I can only imagine being a a driver and then just hearing this bunch of shit and commotion back there and just looking and just being like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, right? I, I forget that they're normal people sometimes and we do some fucking weird shit in the, the band world. <sighs> One of my other friends, um, he could dis- he could like pop out his shoulder blade and then it would stick out like a little wing. And he credit carded a dude's ass ass crack with, uh, <laughs> with his like shoulder blade. <laughs> no way, dude! That's some that's some fucked up shit. That's also really funny. But oh man, see this is this is what I need to do a documentary about. It's the becoming, funny shit that the funny shit that goes on. So it's becoming less and less prevalent. Because kids are more woke these days, so people are more less resilient to like what's going on. More people, and it's not a bad thing. I'm not gonna say that like that was all cool. That was probably one of the last years we did Rookie Talent Night, and even then, I was like, again, not a fan of it. I didn't really uh, condone it. Um, I'm not a big fan of hazing. I think hazing is pretty fucked up. But everyone said like, oh, you don't have to do it. But it was always the implicit like. You should do it, kind of thing. It's know. more or less of uh, like, it's a. Uh, you can you don't have to do it, but you should. You should like your mind in the back of your mind is like, if I don't do it, then I might get mistreated or something like that the entire time. Yeah, and realistically, I don't think that would have been a problem. Like, no, no, none of the people were ever in the the mindset of like, oh, that guy's a fucking nerd who doesn't do shit. <clears throat> Everyone was in it together. Everyone was stuck together for an entire summer, so it was all all the same. Dude, trip. my mind just can't get off of the fact of two guys went to the end of both ends of the bus, mm-hmm. decided to get hard, and then joust each other. They struggled too. I remember it was like one of the last things, and it, like one guy just couldn't get it up the whole time. Yeah, on stage fright. 
that's fair. I mean, 50 other people on the bus and you got to hear them doing whatever gay shit they're doing outside and you're trying to like get aroused by whatever. And then then running down the hall yeah. and then jabbing each other. Yeah. Keep talking. I'm I got to go check uh, this yeah. one side. You, you got to check on what? The cats. The cats, what are they doing? I can hear them fucking with some shit. Go, go, go. Do, what do you tell, want me to do? Give you a rant? I'll give you a play masses, by play. Right. I'll give him a play by play of what's going on. He got out of the chair. Now he's checking on the cats, what they're doing. He's looking inside the bathroom. Now he's coming back slowly. The cats are wondering. Now he's flipping me off. Now he's back in his chair and he's putting his headsets on. Are you just and now he's about to speak. What's going on? Yeah, I gave him the play-by-play. -play. What happened oh, for a minute? What do they do? Fucking around in the tub? Uh, I have the like a bag of food in there, and I had poured the food out of that into like the little plastic container to hold it, and they're just yeah. taking the empty bag. Oh, they're just playing with the empty bag. Yeah. Well, that's you know, that's an interesting world that uh that you were a part of. It was a big part of it. Big part of my life. And you know you've you've done amazing things. You made people cry. Uh, you yep. made people clap. Yep. <clears throat> you did some funny stuff. I've watched a couple of videos of you. You got a fat ass. I um, best uh, best shape I was ever in my entire life was uh, when I was doing that. Well, I, I mean, I've seen a couple of videos when you did uh, that you showed me one night when you were drunk. Yep. Which is really funny. <laughs> Wait, who else was in the... Was it just me and you? It was just you and I, yeah. And then we were... It was like after after a raid night, and uh, I, you know, I was drinking, and uh, we were, I was showing you all the goods. It was good, man. You look good. Your ass was thick, beating that drum. Yeah. That, or that bass, whatever you want to call it. It's, just, it's a drum. It's a bass drum. The bass drum? It just yeah. does a big boom. Yes. That's I funny though. Miss the I don't have any funny. I don't have like that funny adventures like you had at all. But it's it also, seems what? Sorry. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, the, doing all of that also made me not really like traveling at all, because by the age of eighteen, I had already seen almost the entire country. So I just was not super into traveling, and I don't find it to be a a fun thing just to do just to do. So it's it's quite unfortunate, really. It's not. I mean, a lot of things, like even with, uh, you know, being any like a professional in anything, there's a lot of traveling involved. Well, like any a professional sport athlete is traveling a lot. Yeah. It's just constant travel, and you can't just, you know, if you play football, it's you know 17 weeks or 18 weeks, whatever the fuck it is. Then you got basketball, which is like 86 games, or I don't remember. Baseball is 100 and something. You know? Yeah. Soccer is only... It's year, you, soccer is year-round, so you're traveling year-round. So, yeah. It was just... just. Yeah, I don't know. I, traveling is not a, a thing I do for fun. It was just a means to an end at the time. But I've seen a lot of cool things. Uh, I really like San Antonio. That was probably one of my favorite places I went to throughout all of my summers. And that okay. was like an every summer thing. I would, we would go to San Antonio. The first time I had a free day just to run around and like explore the river walk. I thought it was pretty cool. Did you guys ever, do you guys usually get free days? Yeah. Usually or every, like really? every other week there would be like a day that we wouldn't do something. Damn. So every other week you get like a day off mm -hmm. because you're all the time that you're just practicing. Yeah. Is and it you, like either that day off would be like, a laundry day or it would be rolled into something else mm. is it, it is it like wake up practice eat practice and then sleep uh, like what was your like routine well for More the first likely. eight weeks it was i would wake up do some yoga go eat some food for an hour and then go to visual block where we'd run around a lot and play a little bit and then uh eat lunch for an hour and then go to music block where we'd run around and play a lot more and then sometimes not play not stand around as much and then go to dinner and then warm up do full ensemble which was the entire group color guard included and then that would last until about nine o'clock at night 
and then we'd eat snack, and then we go to dinner, or we we'd go to sleep. Then What's a color dinner. guard? The people who spin the flags and the swords. What? Yes. You have flags and sword people. Did they did ever them like like do battle? Yes, I mean you watched the show where there was like an explicit battle at the end of it. That yeah, was one did, the they trees. did they fight each other? Uh, uh -oh. yeah, sometimes. Oh, play by play now. Here we go. He got out of his chair. He's looking for his cat. Picked up the cat. Oh, he didn't pick up the cat. He picked up something that the cats were fucking with. Now he's back. God damn it. Um, oh, he, yeah, he's back I mean, now. It's not about them fighting. It's just the the, the control and the the visual aspect. Their their whole thing was about precise movements as a group. What the fuck is that? It's the ring that goes in the back of my monitor. The monitor. Which monitor? The big one. But they were fucking with it. Yeah, it's a piece of plastic. They like to chew on things. Man, your cats are wild, dude. I love them. I could I probably train them a little bit better, but. Whatever, let them be. They're like children. You just let them be. They're chewing on plastic now. Uh oh. That's fun. So, yeah, uh, that was that'd be my day for the first eight weeks, and then the last, um, the second eight weeks, basically from July first to August, like seventh, maybe tenth, around there. Yeah. It would be like the show part of the year where it would, be, it would either be a show day where we would wake up somewhere, rehearse for about three hours to four hours, maybe a little longer, have a meal, and then we would pack up uh, our stuff, shower, get in uniform, and then like go to the show, warm up at the show, and then like perform and then hang out until we need to leave. Or we would um, have a rehearsal day, which would be much the same as the first eight weeks. Mm -hmm. Where it'd just be all rehearsal all day. Damn, that isn't. I mean, it sounds like fun, but it doesn't. It's. Not, I mean, I, I mean, it's I'm not like gonna a lie. Lot of practice. It is. It's very physically demanding. It's just a lot of running. Uh, it's the middle of the summer, and most of the parts of the country that we were in, i.e., not the Northwest, don't have a lot of like cloud coverage or tree coverage. It's just hot and humid. It's very uh, so you're just sweating the entire time and dying. Yeah, I the, my ways around it were uh, I my last year, I brought like three t shirts with me the entire for the entire summer. One of them was like a dry fit, and I would just not wear a shirt whenever possible. <clears throat> so like, makes I sense. Yeah, I made a conscious decision to like take off my shirt before I ever like ran around. And the only time I'd ever when I had to wear a shirt, which did happen from time to time, um, like when we were in Utah, for instance, we would I would just wear like the thinnest shirt possible. And it would breathe really well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, how <laughs> how's your hand from shooting last week? My hand, it's fine. I don't know why you guys keep worrying about it. It wasn't like I'm a. Not, I'm not worried about. It. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, it just it doesn't hurt. Well, did the slide just hit it? It grazed it like very small amounts. Yeah, you guys are making such a big deal about it. I promise you, it's not. We're not just a making big deal. sure your hands okay. We need yeah. your hands for raiding and stuff, man. We can't have you. Did broken. you not see me carry you last night through the raids? You didn't carry me at all. Yeah, you're right. Because I made you do everything. I carried you, bitch. Kiss my ass. I carried you and your friends. They're your friends too. True. Jeff, uh, <laughs> me and uh, Drew took uh, one of our. Co-workers shooting a couple Mondays ago. Or that Tuesdays, was, that was actually. Last week. It was last week, wasn't it? Yeah, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. That was six days ago. It was fun. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm, I was very surprised that when we were down there that uh, we were the only ones there for the two hours that we were there. Mm -hmm. Which is really crazy. It's fun, man. I like shooting. It's like, ther it's like therapy almost. <laughs> yeah. We just need to uh, either A, get more guns, or B, get more ammo. Uh, we need, like, three things. We need, we need A. We need steel, yeah. so yes. it would be easier to carry. Excuse Not easy me. to carry, but just keep shooting them. And then we need uh, more ammo, of course, and probably more. You know, like, everything in there is, like, more guns and stuff like that. But I don't know. I want to buy an AR, but... 
the rules in Washington suck. Yeah, it's not as exciting anymore. No, because it's like 10. <clears throat> 10 rounds. 10 magazines everywhere you go. I want Even to... with pistols, ARs, whatever. I really want to go get like a shotgun now. We should buy a shotgun. What kind of shotgun do you want? Just a generic pump action shotgun. Nothing crazy. I want a lever action one. Really? Yeah. Yes. All right. That'd be dope. Wouldn't that be dope? It would be you just dope. sit there and you just go boom, ch -ch, boom, ch -ch. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not the pump. I just go do my hand. <clears throat> I'll get. Uh, so I'll I, get. You know, shotgun. You get a shotgun, and we'll we'll go shooting again. Well, we just go. We just go buy one today. Today? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We do have a lot of time. Again, I still have fucking eight more hours. You got a ten you more got, hours actually. Yeah, ten more hours, man. Oh god damn! I just yeah, we can go buy one. We can go buy one and we can buy one and shoot one. This mofo has a new shift, so now he has to stay up so he can get accumulated to his new shift that he has. Yeah, I'm so used to going to sleep at four p.m. No, you get to go to bed at like ten, yeah, ten or eleven. A human. Well, I mean, not like more of a human, just more of a like you get to do stuff after work ish. Yeah. And you still have time to sleep. Instead of, you know, um, like you get off and then you have, you know, two hours to do something because you're, you know. Plus, also, you won't be as tired either. I think so. Because you're going to be working through, you know, an actual normal shift instead of working throughout the night. So. And uh, it seems like the shift is a little bit more low key. It is. It's a little bit more low key. You won't have to do too much, honestly. Yeah. And then you would understand what I go through. Too bad you'll never understand what I went through. I won't, but I've heard it through you. And I will, don't want to do it. Because it doesn't, doesn't seem like a good thing to do at all. I, I don't know. But. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, what you went through the entire time wasn't the greatest you and say. you got shafted a lot, yep. and I felt bad that one day where uh, a boss from the uppers came in and just roasted you for an hour. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, all we did was just shake his head. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I don't know. That just makes me mad. Ed, yeah, trust me, dude. It makes me mad, too. Did anybody have your back? No. Well, Mark. Damn. Damn. <clears throat> There was one point when I like told off one of the other managers who was there and I just didn't have the same corporate Kool-Aid drinking bullshit um, that uh, people normally do. And he's like, oh, man, you got to be. I'm like, no, this is not going to happen. Like, I need to go do I need to go work and not just sit here and talk. And um, <clears throat> then I left and Marcus uh, had my back of like why I was so negative about it. And he said that uh, my my I'm usually like pretty positive spirited and by the time it gets me down usually everyone else is very like very far down so it's a good litmus test of how everything's going right now yeah that's true well it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a weird thing i'll tell you something off air that i can't say on here that's fair so um we have well we have webcams going right now terry and i so this is how we can like see each other and he can see when i flip him off and you know giggle uh, <laughs> We could we could incorporate this. It wouldn't into... be hard. It'd be really easy, but nonetheless. I mean, I do have OBS, so I mean, I yeah. could just record us in here and whatnot. Very, very easy, but whatever. And that's then not, we'll that's be... not what I'm getting at. What you getting um, at? So I, I saw this article oh. of uh, it was from Nvidia, and it was about their broadcast system. I saw this on LinkedIn actually. Um, within Nvidia Broadcaster. They have this AI, like AI everything, but uh, they have this AI that will take your webcam and then look at your face and it will take your eyes and face them at the camera, but you don't have to actually be looking at the camera. So wait, I could be like, if I'm not, so, so like, if I look over, if I'm looking over here, if you're looking at your screen, which normal people do, uh, yep. right now I'm looking at our windows. I, dead ass. I'm like looking at myself. Just to see my own facial expressions because I don't see myself <laughs> talk a lot. 
um i like i look over to you you know here and there but mostly it's myself um but i'm i'm looking at you cuz my camera's not directly f- uh, facing at my eyes so it's i'm not looking at you the whole time you don't see that yeah but if the if we were using nvidia broadcaster it goes from looking here to looking like there and like you can do whatever you want you can like turn your head and it'll just keep your eyes focused there the whole time interesting yeah I'm gonna, no, I'm, I'm just see, looking I'm at you. Your beautiful face. That's what I'm looking at. Your beautiful face and you typing. Oh, he's typing, guys. I am. He's a uh, bad typer. I'm I, I, I can, know this. I can find a video. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> uh, I, I thought you were going to go like somewhere else in this where you're like, not what I expected to like. You know, talking about the aspects of like incorporating video into our thing. I mean, we should honestly. I mean, since we do it, we don't do it. At... Maybe you, maybe you pick up a light or something. I don't know. You, instead of your fucking monitor. Well, what the fuck you want me to do? Buy something? Yeah. Get a lamp or something. I don't know. Put up a fucking poster. Uh no. I'm gonna keep it plain and simple. Wait, what are they called? Like light rings or whatever. Light rings. Ring. You could get a ring light. Uh, I have floodlights that I use in my room. You've seen them. I got them mounted on. The yeah, side. I have. I think they're fucking tight, honestly. I, I want to get two more to put them and cover up the whole room. But all in due time. All in due time, yeah. Oh, I can get one. A ring light. Is it the Wait, how would I would do it, though? Would I just, like, just put it up here behind my shit and then dim this down? The idea is that you put your camera in your ring light. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. It's easy. Yeah. Actually, I do have a lamp behind my monitor. And the idea is not to have... Because you, you, your face is just white right now. Yeah, I just want to let everybody know I'm white. Like, what, what do you have open on your, your monitor right now? Just, uh... uh Audacity? Uh, press Windows key and Delta. Windows key, like, D? D, yes. Oh, if you hold it too long, it does some shit. See what that 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 closes all your applications, by the way. If you want a cool hotkey, so your face is still very white, though. Yeah, my background's kind of white. You have because you have no fucking light in your room. Yeah, it's dark. It's all no shit. Yeah, I have uh, I have a uh, um, what's it called? Uh, blackout curtains. blackout curtains. And the blank ass walls. I have a black I have blackout curtains because when I you know when I sleep. And when I wake when I wake up and you know during the day it's it's still light outside because the sun hits into my room and it wakes me up and I don't like that shit I want to sleep. I mean I love the sun and everything because you know it's what we need. You want that D? But I want that I want that D I want yeah. that I want that I want the D and the Z's. That's really weird that it shows like him those the eyes just like you can definitely tell it's AI. But that's weird. It's pretty good though. Yeah, but it's creepy though. I don't need to be staring at you and talking to you, right? When I talk to you? No. If like I don't have... need to look at I don't need to look into the camera and just be like, yo, Drew, I'm talking to you, man. Look at me. Oh, he's flipping me off. Why you flip me off? Why you hurt my feelings? I hurt you. You know what? You know what I do? I help you out. I took my fucking air compressor out of my goddamn car and I filled your tire up that you were low on and then you mm-hmm. flipped me off. Mm-hmm. And this is what I get from you? Yep. A flipper offer? Yep. Some bullshit. Yep. I think we need to... Um, reevaluate you know, we should, the friendship? Yeah, a reevaluate our friendship here. Sure See where the, our, our uh, friendship lies. Flipping off and shit. You're sad. He said that he can't hang out with me anymore. Yeah, dude. Schedules, man. The con, the conflicts. The conflicts. <laughs> I didn't yawn. You're yawning. You're just screaming. I gotta redo my cables on my my desk here soon. Reading I mean, your cables. I know, I know that I just redid my cable management and my Uh-oh. my what my, my you know monitor setup, but I got a lot of like clutter. It's not perfect. So. We so we need to find how many more people do we need to find for day one? If we want the two teams, 
comfortably we'll need to probably find four more people four that's the like you think that uh everyone's gonna be able to take the day off of work it's on a friday so i can definitely see it i mean Ugh. what's like is james gonna take a day off of work is brad gonna take a probably. day off of work probably brad could I mean, Bill gonna take a day off of work. Yeah, all of us will. All of a, all of us will. We just leave the warehouse empty. Yeah, fuck them. They'll figure it out. That's what they do. That's how. That's how. Uh, the uh, like, all of uh, did we say where we worked at? We've said it ten thousand times. Oh yeah, so like Amazon will figure it out. Yeah, if uh, if your boss is Am- day off of work, I'm gonna laugh when. Uh, I get asked to take the, uh, come in. I'm like, no, nah, I can't. Sorry. Yeah, because Amazon is just a spur of the moment kind of crime of opportunity. Yeah, or it's just like if something is happening, they're like, oh, we'll figure it out right now. Instead of they, <laughs> instead of like if they matters. know something's happening, like they know it's happening in a month or whatever that they need to get something done, they'll wait until the last minute to do it, and then they'll run around with their heads chopped off trying to figure it out. Yep. It's the worst. Yep. Like just to just to fill someone's position. Like even if, like so if I leave, my position will be open. Like I'll put my two weeks in, so it gives them two weeks to find another person to take my job. It'll take them one like, week and five days to start. It'll take them, yeah, or it'll give them, or like a month, like two months or something like that, just to fill my spot. Even though they have the person in mind, yep, they'll still wait like a month to put me on so that one person that my other my counterpart is having the time of his life this is a true story did you put in your two weeks recently terry no it's not not yet but i've been a part of the that situation where one of my you were the one you're the counter i was i was the counterpart that got fucked for four months i was doing it by myself for four months same that was really bad been there yeah but um i really have nothing else to talk about yeah me neither i'm just like i'm really browsing amazon right now (laughs) (laughs) all right so we're going to we're gonna wrap this one up we're gonna we're gonna wrap this one up because we are just not oh we we gotta figure out we gotta figure out when we're recording the next episodes now the schedules are off. Oh, uh, I guess we could talk about that for a little bit. I mean, like, um, so you you obviously have four fucking days off. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, I still we could still do Monday night in all honesty, if you wanted to do it in the evening instead of the morning. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I mean, I I'm open for options. Anything options. I mean, I could do it any day of the week. It's just. The, the days that I work, I won't be home until about, like, 9 o'clock. Yeah, night. you'll be dead. I'm not going to ask you for an, an hour and a half of your time. 12 hours. Yeah. I, I don't want to do anything after work, usually. Yeah, dude. I, I, I 12, oof, 12 hours a day, just, just uh, it's not fun. But, yeah, well, we can just, uh, you know, I mean, keep it in. Uh, could do it on Wednesdays after work when I'm, I'm that's off. That's fine. I don't care. <sighs> Wednesdays, you still get off at the same seven. time. You don't get off at like one o'clock anymore. I know. So. I'm aware. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it you out. You always talk that out there the about riveting, it. That was the riveting, riveting uh, one minute of conversation. Yeah, man. I mean, all, it's a fast conversation. You just get to the point. You don't We're fucking living. sugarcoat it. You don't diggly dally. You don't stick it in the ass. You don't do anything. You just get to the point. Yeah, we fuck. You know what, people? Here's here's some motivation. Not a motivation, but here's some fucking. Just when you're trying to tell someone something, don't beat around the bush. Don't sugarcoat it. Just tell them directly. And if they are offended, then they get offended. But at least you didn't beat around the bush. This has been Relationship Advice with Terry. Hey. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Have a wonderful evening. Like and subscribe. Yeah.